championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. third man in the octagon tonight. Well, fight fans have long clamored to see Fedor Emelianenko in the octagon. That, of course, is our reality right now. And if you want to up the ante on that, he's facing Johnny Bones Jones here tonight in front of a capacity crowd. You know, John Jones going up to heavyweight has opened up so many opportunities that you never thought that you would see. This is one of them. Jones versus Fedor. Goat versus Goat for all the marbles. Let's see how it works. That was Cain Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he landed that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has his opponent hurt very badly again. Oh! with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop them. you got to defend. But you can see him now start the game posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the pick. Oh, slick reversal right there. You need to work. We have crossed the midpoint here in our opening round. Oh, right into mount. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. Let's go! Get him off! Get him off! Oh, 
right, so Emilia oh. goes in half guard now. All right, side control now. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yep. Change of the position. Two minutes. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He wanted a better. Emilianenko's going for the sub here. Oh, he's got the Kimura position locked in now. Oh, what a moment there as they make their way back to the feet. Crowd may be drunk. A huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Let's go. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Under a minute now to go in the round. Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. All right, champ starting to see some swelling upstairs now. But he's taking way too many shots to the head. You gotta move your head. You cannot be on the floor. has got the back, going for the rear naked choke. We may get a finish here, rear naked choke, locked in. All he's gotta do now is drive forward pressure to make his opponent. Oh, 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 yes. So what a win for him here tonight. He gets it done and gets it done by way of submission. He told us this week, I got to keep these judges out of it. Mission accomplished. Absolutely. He is a phenomenal grappler. He said that he held the advantage there and that would show itself in the fight. He proved that and he gets a submission victory. Amazing. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the Octagon. All right, let's go inside the Octagon now. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 23 seconds of the very first round. For the winner, by submission, and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Avon! All right, so we got a new UFC heavyweight champion and potentially a star is born tonight, DC. He is the type of guy that makes people want to tune in. He is the type of guy that you know excitement will Station.